Hey everybody, how are you? In this very quick video, I will do an inferencing notebook with Llama 2. So first, you need to get access uh, to the model following their official guide of Meta. So if you just go search in Google search for Llama 2 access, it will take you to a uh, official page of Meta where you have to fill up a quick form uh, giving your name, email ID, etc. And uh, almost immediately you will get an approval email with which you can download the individual models and also in this for this particular notebook i'm going to use a, a model that has been hosted in hugging face and for that you need to get, uh, get another approval which is uh, which is like a parallel approval apart from the metal official approval so uh, if you just log into your hugging face and uh, uh, a request for approval it will take around 24 hours to get the approval from hugging face and for this example, I'm going to be using the Llama 7B model, which is the smallest among the three Llama models that has been released. And uh, also remember, this is a complete local inferencing. So, and also this code will work with GPU, but even if you do not have a GPU, this code should work, but you need to have much, uh, much powerful uh, RAM in that case. Uh, for example, this particular notebook I'm running with a 34 GB of RAM. And the task I'll be using uh, this inferencing for is a simple text generation task given a question. So first we need to initialize a text generation pipeline with Hugging Face Transformers just as needed for any other pre-trained model within the Hugging Face uh, world. So the pipeline mainly defines uh, these three things. So you need to specific, you need to specify or define the large language model that you are using. In this case, it will be Meta Llama. Uh, Lama 27B uh, hyphen HF. So this exact uh, word should match, and this this is the thing that you will get from Hugging Face uh, website. And also, you need the respective tokenizer for the model. And finally, of course, you need the access token because this model, although publicly available, you need to be approved before you use the model. So your uh, Hugging Face API token will be used to check whether you have been approved or not. All right, with that, uh, just uh, dive into the code. First, of course, you need to install transformers in case if you don't have it already. And then uh, import uh, torch and uh, define this model ID as meta llama llama 27b. And check for CUDA availability, that is a GPU availability. Uh, and like I said, again, that this code should work with uh, CPU as well, but you need a high RAM. And then your uh, access token. So here is what uh, with these three lines, I am uh, I'm logging into Hugging Face uh, through this notebook. So the main thing is access token read. Here you mention your API token, and then just uh, run this login token equal to your access token. And uh, also, actually, you could use this alternative way to log into Hugging Face by running this command: Hugging Face CLI login, and that will just open a quick prompt where you uh, give your uh, API token and that uh, will log you in for this particular session in your notebook. Next one is I need to have the relevant tokenizer and that's what this this line of code is doing. Uh, transformers dot auto tokenizer dot from pretrain. Now a quick word on these transformers dot auto tokenizers because it's very important. So the transformer library introduces a concept of tokenizers to convert the input data, which are typically text strings, into a format that can be used by these pretrained models. So a tokenizer takes care of converting your input data into a format that the model can understand. It, it generally includes tasks like splitting the input into tokens, that is words, subwords or characters, mapping these tokens uh, to their respective IDs in the model's vocabulary, creating attention mask to handle different sequence length and other model specific requirements now coming to this particular um, line that i'm using that is transformers dot auto tokenizer it is a class in the transformer library that allows you to automatically instantiate the correct tokenizer associated with the model you want to use when using a pre-trained model it's very very crucial to use the associated tokenizer because each pre-trained model could be tokenized in a specific way during its training so this line will will fetch the relevant tokenizer class based on the model name provided. Uh, for example, if you are using BERT model, the auto tokenizer will instantiate a BERT specific tokenizer that uses word piece tokenization technology. 
if you are using a GPT-2 model, it will instantiate a GPT-2 specific tokenizer that uses BPE or byte pair encoding tokenization. So in a sense, Transformers.auto tokenizer simplifies the process of getting the right tokenizer for your Pitrain model, helping ensure uh, consistency between the tokenization process and the model you are using. All right, with that, I'm almost done. Uh, next, you just um, need to um, need to execute the transformers.pipeline. And this takes a whole uh, list of uh, individual parameters. Of course, the model name is my uh, Llama 27B. I could actually use just the model ID here because that's a string I'm using. And tokenizer is my defined tokenizer uh, in the previous line. Task, this task is a text generation task. And hence, I'm mentioning that temperature 0.0. .0. So temperature will define your randomness of the output. Zero is the minimum and one is the maximum. So the more you increase the temperature, there will be more randomness or more creativity in your generated text. But in this case, I want to be, I want to get the most accurate, most, most precise uh, uh, output. I do not want any creativity. And that's the reason I'm keeping it at zero. Max new tokens, 512, repetition penalty, 1.1. Without um, without this output begins repeating. That is That means if you do not, uh, mention the repetition penalty then your output will be repeating and the last line is just this you you pass your uh, generate text and then your prompt uh, that's my prompt explain to me the difference between nuclear fission and fusion and from the response that is you will get this response variable from this uh, you just need to print zero and the generated text and uh, the output that I got from the above line is something like this. Nuclear fission is a process in which an atomic nuclear splits into two or more smaller nuclei, releasing a large amount of energy in the process. This occurs when an atom's nucleus is bombarded with a high energy particle such as a neutron. Fission is a process used in nuclear power plants to generate electricity. Anyway, so the point is that uh, this uh, in this notebook, I used only uh, only 7B models. So the result will be much greater and much more accurate if you use the uh, 70B model. But of course, 70B model, to run the 70B model, you need that much higher compute level. I think that only can be run with an uh, 840 GB GPU. 